All right, I like your fit. Let me know what you got on. Yeah, I got on uh, my clear, my okay. clear jacket, tight, Burberry shirt, um, some brown tight. Tight. jeans. Okay, okay, Louis luggage, Matching. and some pandas. Okay, what's your net worth? I'm broke, I'm broke baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yo, come here. All right, what, what you got on? What you got on? Yeah, so um, jacket from Banana Republic, shirt okay, from Banana Republic, basic, outlet, basic, okay. uh, pants, shoes, Banana Republic, okay. <laughs> everything what's, Banana Republic. What's your net worth? Uh, about $5 million. A millionaire. Today, I want to talk about something that might seem counterintuitive at first. Why looking poor can actually be a smart move for living well. I've been through a range of financial experiences. I've been poor, I've been middle class, and I have wealth. And I noticed that the way we think about money at each level is very different. For a lot of people, especially those struggling financially, there's a tendency to want to look better than their current situation. Maybe it's because they want to feel more confident or fit in. But often this leads to making poor financial decisions. You see it all the time. People buying things that they can't afford just to seem like they got it all together. Even the middle class fall into this trap. Spending money on status symbols like new cars or the latest gadgets that feel like they're not struggling. But here's the thing. Wealthy people don't usually care about looking rich. They know what's important. And it's not about impressing anyone with fancy clothes or flashy cars. Instead, they focus on financial security and freedom. And that's exactly what I want to share with you today. Why embracing a more modest appearance can actually help you live better and more comfortably. First, let's start with safety. In today's world, being too flashy can make you a target or a mark for theft or scams. It's sad, but true. When people know you have nice things, they are more likely to catch the attention of those who want to take advantage of it. By keeping a low profile, you're protecting yourself from unnecessary risks. You don't need the latest car or to post vacation pictures from exotic places. Honestly, none of that is necessary. And sometimes it can bring more drama to your life than you bargained for. It's also about relationships. When you're not focused on showing off what you have, you can build more genuine connections with people. Let's be real. People know you have money. They treat you differently and they try to want to be around you all the time. You never know if someone is being nice to you because they genuinely, truly like you or because they are just interested in your wealth. By keeping things low key, you'll attract people who value you for who you are, not for what you own. And let's not forget about financial discipline. Looking rich is expensive. It costs money to buy fancy clothes, drive fancy cars, or live in a huge house. But here's the reality. The less you spend on trying to look wealthy, the more you can save and invest, which brings you closer to your long-time financial goals. Think about Warren Buffett. He's worth well over $100 billion, but he still lives in the same house he bought in 1958. Or look at Mark Zuckerberg, who usually wear the same simple t-shirt and hoodie. Costs a lot of money, but very simple. Wealthy people don't feel the need to prove anything to anyone. They have figured out that financial freedom is way more valuable than looking rich on the outside. In fact, 61% of people who earn over $250,000 a year drive modest cars like Hondas and Fords. Why? Because they don't need to keep up with appearances. They already know what's important. And here's the big one. Trying to look rich can actually make you look poor or actually make you poor. We all heard the phrase, keeping up with the Joneses. It's when you compare yourself to your neighbors or friends and feel like you need to match your lifestyle. Maybe you think about buying a nice practical car, but then you see your neighbor with a brand new Tesla and suddenly your sensibility choice doesn't seem so appealing anymore. So you stretch your budget and you take out a loan to get a more expensive car that you can't really afford just to keep up with appearances. The problem is this spirals into debt and that debt keeps you from reaching your financial goals. And the worst part, constantly comparing yourself to others can impact your mental health. No matter how much you have, there will always be someone who has more. And if you're always comparing yourself, it's easy to feel like you're not doing enough. But here's the simple truth. Real success isn't about looking rich. It's about being financially secure and happy with your choices. Looking poor isn't about neglecting yourself. It's about being smart with your money and focusing on what really matters, your future. If you can save even just a little bit each month, that can make a huge difference in how soon you can achieve your financial freedom. For example, if you save 5% more of your income, you could retire several years earlier than what you have planned. 
It's all about making those small changes now so you can live better in the future. So here's what I want you to take away from this. Stop worrying about how you look to others. Focus on what matters to you. Maybe it's becoming debt free, building your emergency fund or saving for retirement. Whatever your goals are, make those things your priority. You don't need to show off to anyone. You're doing this all for yourself. And remember, it's not about comparison. There will always be someone with more, but your journey is your own. The key is a focus on progress, not perfection. Compare yourself to where you were a year ago, not where someone else is today. Keep it simple, save more, and invest wisely. That's how you build real wealth. So there you have it. That's why looking poor can actually help you live well. It's not about the flashy stuff. It's about making smart choices that will set you up for a brighter, more secure future. If you found this helpful, hit the button, share this with someone that you really care about for advice, and drop a comment below. Do you know anyone who looks rich but really isn't? I do. Or someone who's wealthy but keeps it low-key? Me. Let me know. But till next time, take care. Peace. Thank you.